Feeling very blue and purple today. How lovely. Hey, Spuds, it's Jamie. Welcome back to another video of Fast Channel. I don't know, but welcome either way. I'm very glad to have you here for pointlessly gendered products and other things that people like to gender for no reason. Yeah, we should make a jingle for this series. This is a favorite series of mine on the channel. It's one of those ones that's not super wholesome, but it's kind of funny. And I do like reacting to these and some of them do take me by surprise. So we are today just going to have a look at a bunch of things things you can buy, people saying things and doing things that are pointlessly gendered. Grr, why? Some people really do seem to forget that not everybody has the same life path as them. And just because people are different doesn't mean people are bad. And you know who can help those people out? Darren Brown. Yep, I said it. And stick with me here as we thank Audible. All round good eggs and intentional allies who have partnered with me on today's video. And speaking of memory from long term to short term and everything in between. Because memory is non-binary, you know, and and definitely beyond basic biology. We could all do with a little hippocampus hydration from time to time. Hands up in the comments if you think your memory could be better. Maybe you go into a room and forget why you went in there. Maybe you make a to-do list because you forget what you need to do without a to-do list, but then you forget to look at your to-do list. Well, Darren Brown is here to the rescue with Darren Brown's Bootcamp for Memory exclusively on Audible. He's bootcamped your brain. He's bootcamped your emotions. He's bootcamped your life. And now he's gonna bootcamp your, what was it again? Your memory, walking you through the fragility of memory. How it can get a little creative sometimes in sabotaging us. And serving some hard truths about how today's modern society is built in a way that our memories are just not adapted for. This boot camp is a real game changer. And Darren's joined along the way with some top memory experts who are there to help us all out. Like many people, I'm sure, I too have been let down by my memory. One time I even asked Shabra if she would date someone who was trans. We were married at that point and I know, call the trans inspector, take away my license. I genuinely forgot. All that to say, I will definitely be listening to Darren Brown's Bootcamp for Memory. And if you want a little feel-good brain boost to help you as you life and generally as you get older in this very overwhelming world, you can listen to exclusively on Audible. Check out the link in my description box. And for now, let's get on with pointlessly gendered, discreet, dignified, disposal, designed for men. Why? That is a hygiene bin. That is a hygiene bin. That is not designed for men. If you want to say that there was any particular design for these types of bins, it was probably for hygiene products like period pads and tampons. No, you cannot just take the exact same thing and say, this is designed for men. Is it because it's grey and sad? No, it's because it's in a men's bathroom, so now it has to be a manly man bin. They're just the same bins. They're just hygiene disposal bins. They're very useful to be in all bathrooms. Trans people exist. People use certain products regardless of gender, regardless of assigned sex. It's just just useful to have bins like this in public bathrooms. It's so bizarre to me when they're not in the men's. But this designed for men. <laughs> it's like the masculinity of the men using the bathroom is found to be so fragile that they must know that this bin is for them and not for period stuff. Lady Jane's haircuts for men on pointlessly gender. That's not confusing at all to decide to gender that this literal building only provides haircuts for one gender, but it's called Lady Jane's. Now, I don't agree with this, but I feel like if you're trying to appeal to the kind of man who would go into a haircutting place that is specifically advertised as just being for men, maybe you don't want to call it Lady Jane's. I feel like that might put some of your clientele and target audience off going. I'd be more put off by the haircuts for men. I'm not going to go there. Lady Jane's bit doesn't bother me, but kind of guys who would like a haircuts for men shop maybe wouldn't like Lady for Jane. Lady for Jane's. Lady Jane's. I do appreciate the scissors as the apostrophe and the little cut through. The design is, I'm not mad about it, but I'm mad about the words. A jeep. Look at the jeep. Imagination. Adventure. Look. A jeep with mountains on and somebody wearing a red hat. Gladiator. Great outdoors. Ha ha ha. We go underneath and what do we have? Her adventure and a little pink chair because the ladies need to sit down and they got a little puppy dog with them and they're wearing really cute little outfits and they got this little buggy that's obviously got loads of pink on it. Woo. I mean, what if a girl wants a jeep and what if a boy wants a little buggy and a dog? Why are you going to make it gendered? You're just cutting off half your market. A man's day. Oh God. Big smile smile when he wakes up. And then, I'm sorry, I can only describe this as creepy smirk. Like, do, no, do not send this emoji. Don't use this emoji. No, I'm not keen on this emoji unless it's sent in a jokey way. So a man all day is very happy and then having a creepy smirk until he goes to bed. 
that is the range of man's emotion. A woman's day, oh, she's happy, and then she's sad, and then she's, I don't know what that is, disgruntled, and then scared, and then even more gruntled, and then, oh, just deadpan, what the F is going on, and then angry, and then angrier, and then nothing, and then an angel, and then lovey, and then sad, and then embarrassed, and then the, the weird teeth bearing smile. This emoji with the teeth, it's either, to me, that means braces, or it's like, you know when kids go through that phase when they're younger, and they just smile like this, they're like, mm. you go cheese, and like, mm, I need to show you all of my teeth, that's that emoji. Then a winky face, then laughing, crying, then sad, and then angry, and then sweating, and then sleeping. So basically, men don't experience emotions, women actually experience their feelings and have ups and downs throughout the day, as many human beings do. Wow, this is bad for both men and women, this kind of stereotyping. The expectation that men must be like level and kind of emotionless and just steady all the time. And then the idea that women blow hot and cold and are constantly changing their moods and their feelings and it's so confusing. Man flu tea. Man flu tea. I don't know what to say about that one. Yes, look, make it more manly by saying man on it and putting it in a, a little thingy with a cork. How manly. Women don't care how late it is, they'll take a shower. Is there a specific time of day that one must shower? Can people only shower in the morning or when it's early? I don't understand this. Is it weird to shower later in the day or in the evening? I've never heard this take before. Fascinating. Should disabled animals, regardless of the severity of disability, be put down? No, I am a woman. Yes, I am a woman. No, I am a man. Yes, I am a man. What does man woman have to do with it? Unless they're doing research where they're looking in to see if like men or women are more or less likely than the other to say yes or no to animals with disabilities being put down. But then what about the non-binary people? What if they want to vote? Do they not get a voice? Do they not get heard? I'm looking for a newborn car seat for a boy. I'm due any day now. I was given one, but unfortunately it's pink. Why is there a capital letter at the start of every word? I hate it. And on one, what? If any anyone is willing to trade or maybe even donate a boy one, I will be greatly appreciated. You will be greatly appreciated. Yes. You won't be appreciative of the gift, you will just be appreciated by them. Your baby boy will appreciate you for not forcing him into the horrible, girly, pink, what is it, car seat. You got given a free car seat, like baby stuff is spenny, is expensive, and you get given a free thing, and you're not just going, woo, free baby item that otherwise would have cost me a lot of money, and I don't have to go and find one either. And you don't like that it's pink, because you're having a boy. Literally, he won't care. Why do you care? This is, this is so bizarre to me. This is like people who won't put their boy in anything remotely pink or let him play with toys that are pink or from the girls section. Why not? Go back like a hundred or so years and pink was the boy's colour. Just pretend you're Victorian and it's all good. Oh, wow. Wow. His and hers astroturf flip-flops. They are pretty heinous, aren't they? Wow, I hate them. What is that? Is they, are they like monogrammed or something? These just look like they would really tickle your your feet and who wants to be walking around with feet ticklers attached to them? No. Men's and ladies day, 40% off all car wash classic excluded. Monday men, Wednesday ladies. Wait, so if men take the car in on a Monday, they get 40% off a car wash. If ladies take it in on a Wednesday, they get 40% off. I always find this really interesting. Ladies, to me, would be paired with gentlemen. I don't know why. I mean, I think it's because like, ladies and gentlemen. Men feels like the informal, so like, why doesn't it say they could have had lovely like MMWW? Monday men, Wednesday women. Why not? Why do ladies? Where did the ladies come from? from. Hmm? Women's travel kit, 10.49. It's blue. Bl bad. No woman will buy it. Inside this kit are the essentials for on-the-go grooming. Use the convenient travel sizes to save space and keep everything in one place. So what do you get that would be specifically woman? Shampoo, only woman. Conditioner, only woman. Hairspray, comb, only women can use a comb. Deodorant, men must stink. Travel toothbrush, fluoride toothpaste, facial tissue, zip top quart bag. What's a quart bag? What is a quart, quart bag? Wait, it's a size, quart. Why is this American? Why do Americans, Americans help? Why do you measure things by like the size of a random word? Like why is it a quart and a cup? Why not just like inches and centimeters and milliliters? I need answers and grams. What's wrong with grams? Ultimate toys for men. New edition. Wow.
Love it. It looks like an old book, fortunately. It's not new anymore. Body glide, body. Prevention is better than a cure. Dry, invisible, sweat and water resistant, never greasy, no fragrance. Anti-chafe balm. Stop chafing raw skin irritation caused by rubbing. Okay, it's blue. Body glide, body balm, $7.99. Body glide for her. Anti-chafe balm. Still no fragrance, never greasy. All the same shit. But it just says for her and it's pink and it's $2 more. No, pink tax. Disgusting. For men, GQ France. GQ Thailand Society For women Hola Harper's Bazaar And then Canadian living Like food stuff <laughs> Men They want to read about Other men And the world And culture themselves With fashion And society Women They want gossip and food. I feel like there's so many things that there is truth in the stereotype, but most likely because that's a stereotype we as a society have created and we've put people in the boxes of like, men will be interested in like political affairs and the world and like deeper conversations and women just want gossip. Perfect stick or perfect rock? Which one you taking? Wow. That's so, I don't know. I, re I do not know. That's a difficult choice. The hardest crossroad any man will come by. Now, look, just because I am a man and just because I struggled to make the decision does not mean this should be a gendered thing. I know my wife would struggle to make the same decision. They are both perfect. You want both of them. Why is it a man thing to choose between a stick and a rock? I don't get it. What's so manly? Glitter and dirt. Mum of both. I mean, that sounds really messy. You gave birth to a pile of glitter and a pile of dirt? Do you carry them around in a little bag? Ew. Imagine being those children and like, your mother views you as glitter. And you as Dirt. Men's tea drink. Raisin. Oh, interesting. After drinking too much, good for next morning. I was going to say it's like good for a hangover. It's for men. <laughs> it's for men. Why is it for men? Only men need hangover cure. Elect trick on pump easy to operate high pressure to operation mode patent applying doesn't that mean that other people can steal the idea boy pump boy but why what what you can only blow up boy is it for balloons boy balloons with this some things need never be gendered many things need never be gendered most things need never be gendered for a lot of people some people like it it's fine as long as they don't put that on the rest of society but i like a vast Vast majority of stuff doesn't need to, clothes don't need to be gendered. D shoes, socks, why am I just thinking of stuff to put on your body? This, a pump for balloons, why is it gendered? Why? Conservatives, leftists are so sensitive. Conservative men when they can't use their special dude wipes. <laughs> I mean, yes, you could argue it's sensitive to require things to be neatly regimented between men and women and then you feel offended and emasculated as a man if you use women's products and you feel unfeminine as a woman if you use men's, it's mostly the men, like this is coming mostly from a place of toxic masculinity. I think that's why a lot of the things on here are like man tissues and man this and man that and toys for men. There's a focus on men being the ones that need special things or men being the default. And when there's two things, it's like a very masculine like packaging or it's blue. And then the other one is pink and feminine and it says woman on, but the blue one doesn't say man because men are just seen as the default. But at the same time require to be made to feel special. <laughs> what in good law is this? Why is it gendered? So it's literally a public toilet with stalls. Everybody goes in. Everybody, I assume, washes their hands in the same area, but one side is labelled for men and one side is labelled for women. How is that different to a gender-neutral bathroom, but they've just dictated where people can use the stalls and then excluded anyone who's not a man or a woman? Like, anybody can walk in there initially. The sign on the outside must say, you know, for anybody, this is the weirdest bathroom. This is the weirdest gendering I've ever seen and I've seen some weird gendering it's purely weird because why is it on the inside when people are already in i don't get it you're all in the same space strong soft sorted we know tissues you know when something works ticks all the boxes takes a big sneeze soaks all those spills and is still kind on you stronger than before soft as always one thing you can always rely on for men kleenex i'm surprised it didn't go one thing you can always rely on because you can't rely on the women in your life like and just didn't put in a sexist thing there for men i don't know why are there tissues for men it's like the og pointlessly gendered approved toiletry bag with handles clear toiletry bag quartz another quartz size travel bags for toiletries carry on cosmetic makeup pouch for men well i have to say it might be gendered but it is inclusive that some men wear makeup
makeup. I am going to give that a net neutral because there's some negative, some positive. I know I shouldn't say this, but I really hate when straight guys come into Pilates class. This could go okay, this could not. Depends. Maybe it's the straights not being okay, or maybe it's the poster not being okay. Their uncoordination, their grunts, their shock that it's actually hard. It feels like they are invading our club. Stick to bench pressing. Pilates is for the girlies and the gays. <laughs> for the girlies and the gays. Mm. I appreciate the idea of being annoyed that you do this thing that is actually quite strenuous and it's viewed as like easy and anybody can do it. And then this like, this like alpha dude comes in and he's like, oh, it's actually difficult. And he's grunting and it's annoying. However, weird still that you're like Pilates is for the girlies and the gays. Like there's different ways to phrase it to be like, there's a certain demographic who come into my classes sometimes and it changes the vibe of the atmosphere. And they're just like, they come in very arrogant and it's not fun. That would be a fair comment to make. But then saying like, therefore no straight guys can do this class, bit weird. And um, somebody's replied going, imagine if a man said something like this to women in the gym, the gym is for everyone, period. Wait till she finds Finds out a man, Joseph Pilates, invented Pilates. Was he straight though? Because she did say it's for the girlies and the gays. <laughs> Can we discuss how bad these lip balms were? Actively made my lips dry with every use, couldn't fit in a pocket, just annoying and useless. They were not for male lips, I think. Can somebody explain to me what the difference is between male and female lips? And then two, what is it about lip balms that would make them appropriate for male lips and appropriate for female lips? I'm at a loss. I do not know how a different lip balm could work better for men compared to women. Demon Slayer Swords building set for girls 8 to 14. Well, at least they're not saying that girls cannot play with swords. It's kind of inclusive whilst being gendered. They're not being like, oh, girls must play with ponies and fairy dust. I've got a little bit of a weird question for you guys, but I guess it would be fun to do. So on the picture, you got all the dwarves and they are all male and all got names of a character traits. Grumpy, sneezy, dopey, sleepy, Doc, bashful, happy. I don't think Doc is a character trait. He does stick out a bit. But what if they were female? I mean, how do you know some of them aren't? Some women have beards. Dopey doesn't have a beard. Yeah, I've never actually thought about the gender of the dwarves. If they are all men, and then we were to have seven women, why would they not just have the same name? These emotions and states are not gendered. Being happy is not gendered. Being bashful is not gendered. I was thinking for seven female names with character traits of females, but the only name I found was Shoppy, and that's a weird name. This whole post is weird. So I asked for help with thinking of female dwarf names. Grumpy, Sneezy, Dopey, Sleepy, Doc bashful happy there you go what so you're saying that it's not a trait of women to be grumpy sneezy dopey sleepy women cannot be sleepy be doctors be bashful or be happy bizarre a microfiber cloth for him and a microfiber cloth for her they're just different colors they are not gendered you've just made a blue one and a pink one tough hands intensive skin repair for dry cracked and irritated hands it's 12.99 and it's 150 grams. Tough hands for her. Intensive skin repair is they're exactly the same thing. This one says it has sweet almond in it and it is half the size for only $2 less. Mm -hmm. Winter Sherpa Essentials Boys Anti-Slip Grip with pizzas on. Only boys get pizza socks and the girls one has unicorns, of course. At least they're both anti-slip. Imagine if they're like, boys don't need to not slip. Boys will be boys. They can be rough and tumble and fall over everywhere. But the girls, they must not fall. ABCs for boys. I feel like my brain is melting. You're going to start seeing brain coming out of my nostrils because it is melting at the ridiculousness of this gendering. Why are people like this? Science gift set for girls, 220 experiments. I guarantee you these will be basically identical. They will have all the same 220 experiments in them as a kit labeled for boys. The only difference will be the box is pink and maybe some of the stuff inside is pink as well and more feminine, but they will be the same experiments. There is no need to split it. Surely by splitting the packaging and the contents and like the, the actual materials and making them different colors, you are just doubling the product that you have to make. And therefore, if you just made one kit that was neutral and worked for kids of all genders, you would sell just as many, but have half the cost because you'd be able to get them in like double the quantity. And it just seems ridiculous to me to split it like this. That graphic design, bloody hell, ab wheel with a woman on for 12.99, usually 16.99, and an ab wheel 
with a man on for $14.99, usually $24.99. Why is that one so much more expensive? They're identical products. What is this? Again, just put them in the same box. No, you can just show it on the package. It doesn't need to be used. Like next to it, there is an ab wheel that just shows the wheel and there is no person on it. Like just buy that one. If you're not comfortable with there being like a gendered person on it that is not the same gender as you and that means you feel like you can't buy it. For me, and like obviously this is very much through my lens and my life experience, if there was one left and I wanted an ab wheel and it was the one with the woman on or I wanted a anti-chafing stick and it was the one that says for women, I'm gonna buy it anyway. This is the same product whether it's got a man on the package or a woman on the package but there are so many people that will only buy it if the person on the packet is the same gender. I just find it bizarre. I guess that's why they pay for double, right? Because if they want to show it being used, difficult to make it appeal to everybody. I feel like particularly men wouldn't buy something with a woman or like feminine presenting person on. Shower caps for men without feminine folds. What? We removed any sign of femininity from this cap so you can take embarrassment free showers without getting your hair wet. No more feminine folds and girly patterns that keep you locking your bathroom door every time you want to take a shower. Curly man by Hairsome is the first first ever shower cap made for men. Don't most people lock the bathroom door when they take a shower? Because I'm thinking like where people may be embarrassed or very private about their bathing routines is if they live in like shared houses or accommodation or like university dorms. But surely whether you were embarrassed by your hair cap or not, you are locking the door, right? Because that would be a bit weird if you're not. And then the situations where you wouldn't lock, lock the door, like when you live alone or you live with your partner and you just, you're happy to come and go when each other is showering. Why would would you be embarrassed about your hair cap then? Especially if it's just you. And if you're embarrassed by what's on your head in front of your partner, mm, that's a bit sad. Crocs, gibbets, McDonald's, men's. Why are they only for men? Crocs, gibbets, Hello Kitty, women's. So we have McDonald's, men eat McDonald's, women eat cats. That's what I'm getting from this. However, the pink tax is going the opposite way. It's actually a blue tax because the men's are $25 and the women's are $20. This is something that baffles me the most out of all this pointlessly gendered because when things are like pink and blue or they're to do with beauty and clothing and things, you get how stereotypes would feed into this sense of necessity to segregate things. But this, the McDonald's one being men's, I don't understand. I could see how Hello Kitty could broadly be defined as more feminine. And if they really wanted to gender things, put it in a women's category. How is McDonald's men's? I don't get it. I also disagree generally with like Hello Kitty being in the women's and being labeled as for women, but I can see the perspective more than I can see it for the McDonald's because I can't see it at all for the McDonald's. Oh, we have a video. Hold on, his t-shirt says God made toilets. God made toilets. God God made toilet door signs. That's what's on his t-shirt. Hey, what's up, guys? Here I am in Target. You're my in local Target. Target, right? Check this out. So we're in the boys section, guys. Boys clothes section. I want to show you over here. This is the clothing we have for boys. Dinosaurs are cool, right? There's a big rainbow behind the dinosaur. But we're not going to stop there. We've got a cloud. Hula hooping with a rainbow. What's this? Trucks are cool, right? Pick it up a rainbow. Why are we picking up a rainbow, guys? He looks so butthurt. He's gone in and be like, Oh my God, there's rainbows in the boys' clothing. They're trying to make the boys gay. And he's gone and he's found every shirt that has a rainbow in it and unfolded and then like very neatly placed it back on top to do his little walking down the line and saying, Rainbow, grr, rainbow, grr, rainbow, grr. Why? That isn't even a rainbow. That's just four colors, dude. They're destroying masculinity. We need to st stand up as fathers. He said that with like the most deadpan voice. Sometimes he looked angry, but most of the time he just looked very terrified rabbit in the headlights that he was being filmed. Like, stand up for masculinity and wokeness. I'm trying to remember my words really desperately that I can't put any passion into what I'm saying, even though I'm really, really angry angry right now. A dinosaur and a rainbow? How dare they? They are destroyed. No. If this is what you spend your time doing, that's really sad. Oh, another video. Flags change their gender. Let's see country flags are changing their gender. Let's turn boys into girls and girls into boys. Brazil. Has Brazil been defined as a boy flag? Um, this is the girl version of Brazil. Wow. We have Uruguay. Wow. And we have 
Isle of Man. That's a very in Isle of Man. Okay, I was like, that's a very niche one to choose, but perhaps not given the current context. That looks so ballerina legs. We have Kenya. Huh? What is this? Pencils and a makeup brush. I'm California. Is that a state flag? Oh, they did. Oh, did they put lipstick on the bear and do a baby bear? What is this one? Bhutan. A unicorn. How do you swap the gender of the Bhutan flag? You change a dragon for a unicorn. I mean, the things on flags mean something. Persia. What are they going to do to Persia? Make the flag trans. Oh my god. That was it. That must be taking the piss. I refuse. I refuse to believe that that is real. Man bar. Deep cleansing. No, see, that's where they've gone wrong. It's not masculine to deep clean. You just got to surface level clean and never the bum. That's how you be a manly man. Best songs for alto sax male. Best songs for alto sax female. Wait, is the saxophone player a man or a woman? Or is the saxophone a man or a woman? Are we gendering musical instruments now? My parents are pretty middle-aged. So, that's pretty norm- Wapow! What's happening here? The door has been busted down! Child, dost thou request refreshments from the tavern? Oh, middle-aged like they live as if it's the Middle Ages. I see why this has been included. Wow, it's like he's wearing a little triangular codpiece and she has little boobies in the armour because we need to know who is the mother and who is the father and make sure that there is a mother and father. We're gendering armour. I mean, hasn't it been an issue in movies and TV shows and stuff? I think some of them have done it right, but yeah, wow. Armoured boobies. Female introvert. I'm just too shy to talk around, guys. Tee hee. Male introvert. Howdy, fellas. I have never enjoyed living on this earth. Okay, so female introverts apparently are awkward and male introverts perhaps need to speak to somebody because that sounds a bit more serious than introversion. Is my tattoo too masculine? Friend commented it is and now I can't unsee it. Maybe I should have gotten a uh, heiku? I don't know what that is. I may have a dragon. How is- why is that masculine? I don't understand and even if it was why is there a problem i'm kind of judging both op and then also their friend because i'm like why should it matter if it is masculine or not if you like it then great doesn't matter but also why are you commenting that about somebody's tattoo that feels like you were deliberately trying to make them feel some kind of way in some kind of negative way about a thing that they just permanently got on their body i get it if there's a spelling mistake if something is actually really rude you might want to warn somebody about a tattoo but if someone has got a tattoo that is perfectly fine looking also really big and not exactly coverable or anything but there's nothing wrong with this tattoo why would you you put it in their head to start doubting their decisions to get it like that just seems like a bad friend move if like a friend got a tattoo and it wasn't my vibe i'm not gonna be like oh yeah but it's a bit this it's a bit that like i don't even think that i'm just like i think that's wonderful for you you really love something so much or you were really passionate about this or you just on a whim wanted a fun tattoo and you're really happy with it great it's not my position to make any kind of commentary on it to make you feel uncomfortable unless there is objectively something very wrong with it like no rag regrets. You know, I would warn a friend if they got a spelling mistake on a tattoo just because they're bound to notice it one day and I would feel bad if I didn't point it out. But this, why is her friend telling her her tattoo looks masculine? Because one, it doesn't. And two, why would you even say that even if it did? And now she's questioning it. I feel simultaneously like judging her slightly for not just being like, shut up, I love it. It's not masculine. But then also I feel bad for her for now feeling like she shouldn't have gotten that tattoo. Ugh. The uppercut for men with a car. The uppercut for ladies by Bonnie. No bonnets, just Bonnie. The scissors are a bit bigger on the women's, but the text is smaller. Great. Men want their hair cut where the text is bold and the scissors are small and there's a car. Women want their hair cut by Bonnie with nice big scissors for all of that long hair and it's for the ladies. See again, men and ladies. Maybe they think that ladies is very demure, very mindful. What is this? Like a walkway? It looks like a walkway and a pass- not passengers. Pedestrians in a 
car park, but the sides are gendered. Weird. <laughs> Gay couples can't walk side by side. Poor homme, poor femme. Car fragrance. Car. Cut scent stuff for the car. They even put like the little symbols on. Awful. Mandates. I'm getting tired of making this video. And then klutzy something I can't say. Klutzy. I'll catch you next Tuesday. And on that note, of catching you next Tuesday, it will not be a Tuesday. I don't know if this video is going up on a Sunday or a Wednesday, but I will either see you next Wednesday or see you next Tuesday. Can I just say Tuesday? See you next Sunday. That's it. Great. What a wonderful way to end the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me for another installment of Pointlessly Gendered. And some of these were absolutely bananas. I think we'll agree. They were completely and utterly gendered bananas. <laughs> think about giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to, but no pressure. Also, do go click the link in the description box to go check out Darren Brown's Bootcamp for Memory exclusively over on Audible. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye. Did I say mush love? Mush, like mushy peas, but love. Goodbye.